Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie and today I'm going to do a um, project share. Um, I am going to have like I think three or four different parts of a project share just because I don't want them all to be in a video and then they get just too overwhelming. Um, I'm kind of going to separate them by the different kinds of projects I made. Um, so today I'm going to just show you the rosettes. Um, I've made like little lollipop rosettes I guess you could say or like um I don't know I use toothpicks but I'll show you um, and then I also made some larger ones some um, crepe paper rosettes and then I also created some I used um, I made some laminated glitter paper and I also made laminated um, foil paper but um, I laminated some glitter and sequins or I guess I don't know this is more of the chunky glitter actually from Target and I use gold glitter and then this one is glitter and foil and I use my laminator for that and I made some rosettes with it so um, these are the, the ones that I made here I'm gonna go ahead and dig through them and show you guys exactly what I made so I'll go ahead and just start with the large ones with the large um, rosettes I used I should have been more prepared, but um, I used this dye that I picked up from Tuesday morning a couple months ago. Hopefully you guys can still grab it. Um, but it's this dye here, and it's the Peacock Fan. You can make um, sizes from 4 inches to 12 and a half. And I made the 4 inch size because that's, I mean, 7 and a half is already a little too big. Um, so I used that dye. And these are how they turned out. And all the um, embellishments I'll be showing you in this video will be for the Flourish collection because that's what I'm working with right now. But here are the three that I made. And I'll go ahead and show you guys one by one. And then I'll also have pictures if you want to see them um, on my Instagram. I might add a couple at the end of the video, but I'm just thinking that I might post on Instagram instead. So um, if you guys want to see those photos, I'll have my Instagram link down below. But here's the first one. I didn't make them two dimensional because these are already kind of thick. Um, so I kind of kept them a little simple here. And then here's this one. I love this one. I feel like it's perfect because it has the peacock and then it has um, the little peacock feathers here. So it went perfectly and I love the colors together. And most of like the stickers and papers that I use are from the Flourish collection. Um, if not, it's like for my stash, just like the swan sticker on this one. And then I did some um, sewing on these. As you can see, I sewed some of the hearts with gold thread. And this was like when I was first learning how to do um, the shapes. And so I've been working on it, but um, I was like, you know what, it's handmade. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then this one here, this is using some of the sticker sheet. This one too is a sticker from the Flourish collection. And I tried to make the colors match as you can see by using some plain cardstock and then also just matching um, patterns. Um, and then with this die, you need four separate cuts to make the four inch one. So what I did was I actually used two different papers. As you can see, I used two different ones for each one here. And then same with this one. But I made them to where they obviously coordinated with each other so that way it's just not too crazy. But yeah, these are, came out so cute. So those are those. And then I also made, put these to the side. Um, I used popsicle sticks to create some rosettes using that um, laminated paper, glitter paper that I made. Um, what I did was I covered, sorry, my mom called. <laughs> so um, anyway, um, yeah, so this, um, what I did was I covered the popsicle stick with pattern paper. Um, it was actually way easier than I thought, um, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I didn't mind about the sides or the back because I 
was planning on painting it anyway um, and so what I did was I just chose some patterns covered it on the popsicle stick I used a sanding block the Tim Holtz one to just get rid of the excess and just make it more straight and then I painted each of the popsicle sticks like this pink color I think it was um, like folk art paint no I don't remember what art yeah folk art paint and it's just this pink color and I painted the sides and the back of it and then I um, added this glitter I added gold glitter at the bottom here to just add some uh, like a gold dipped I guess effect um, and then with this um, but yeah, so I had the rosettes made first, and then when I saw them, I just felt like they were too small. So what I did was I saw, because um, I was, again, just redoing my room, and I remember how many of the popsicle sticks that I had. And so I thought it would be really cute to make little popsicle stick, um, like, embellishments. So that way, if um, anybody makes, like, uh, loaded flip bags or anything, you can stick them in, and they're kind of popping out. Um... And yeah, so I didn't mind covering the back just because you can't really see the glue and it doesn't look messy. It looks pretty cute. So that's the first one here. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter or the sequins in there. But I use a swan sticker from Hobby Lobby. I felt like that really went with Maggie Holmes collections. And then I use a small like um, scallop circle put, um, die. And then here's another one. And for this... Uh, for the rosettes, to make it easier for myself, I used the Tim Holtz rosette die. And so here's this one. Again, kept them pretty simple. Um, not too dimensional. And I only made three of these. And here's another one with the swan. So that... Um, these are the popsicle sticks, and then here are the patterns that I chose, and then how the bottoms look. Super cute. And for the bottoms, I literally just use like my roller adhesive, and I just put adhesive all over the bottom, and then I just dipped it in my jar of gold glitter, so that way it's not too messy. Alright, so there's those. And then the last ones I made were some crepe paper rosettes. I made the chunky, like, stitch rosettes. Um, so I'll show you guys um, how those look. So the, this is the back. It's a obviously messier than the front because you have the ends at the back. But as you guys can see, I did the stitching. Um, and I did just a bunch of layers to make them really thick. Um, I forgot which tutorial I watched. If I can find it, I will link it down below. But I would just look up, look up Stitch Rosette tutorial. Um, I'm sorry, I just, I really don't remember. Um, but this was my first rosette made. If you look at my other rosettes, you can tell that, like, it kind of got a little bit easier. See, to make them a lot more unique. Or not unique, but um, similar to each other. Um, I don't know. I just, this was my first one though, but it definitely got a lot more fun after I figured out how to make them. Um, for the three, I made them very simple. I literally just used a sticker um, for each one, and then I used these. Um, these were from some star picks. I actually have a couple left over. So these are the sticks right here, and then I cut off this star, and I actually ended up using this as well. So that's what gave me the idea to put this on the rosette, was after I used these. So um, again, I'll show you those. So this is the first one. This is the hot pink colored rosette. And my crepe paper comes from different stores. Um, like the hot pink one came from Target, this purple one came from Party City, and then that um, mustard yellow one actually came from the 99 cent store which i was super excited to find because i really wanted a mustard yellow crepe paper because i love this color and so um that's how these turned out and then as you guys can see i put this rose gold glitter um tool on top and it's just a circle piece just to add more texture and some glitter and then for the other three, because I made a total of six, um, 
I used this larger star piece after cutting out the smaller star. Sorry, I didn't mean to flick you off. <laughs> um, I used that to make these. So I thought these were really cute because then you don't have to worry about covering the back or anything. It's already attached to the star. So um, these are how they look. I have a mint green, a sam like a salmon color, and then this pink. And this pink one came from the Dollar Tree. The other two came from Party City. I made a large order on um, PartyCity.com like a while ago when they had this huge sale. And then what I did to finish these off, I put some yarn at the end in this like peachy color um, just to finish it off. And then I just layered it. Again, not too much layers. I try to use just one layer of thick foam and then the rest of them are on thin foam adhesive. Here's this one. This um, banner comes from the Target One spot. And it was like from years ago. And again, I'm using stickers from the collection. This one was my favorite one. Super cute. It's not as dimensional. Yeah. So those are the crepe paper rosettes and then um, I'll go ahead and just put these all together for you to see them all and again these are to add to my stash once I have like my stash I feel like ready to swap I definitely want to start swapping so I will find a couple of um, people to swap with um, but yeah so this is the rosettes um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my little projects that I've been making um, I definitely will go ahead and um, make a another part to show you my other ones um, and so check out or look out for those videos um, I hope you guys have a great uh, day whatever day it is that you guys are watching this and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye